Hey guys, welcome back to the W221 Sunda class. Sunda class. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny to call it Sunda class um, compared to just calling it an S class. Um, no, it sounds funny. It sounds almost Indian. Sunda class. <laughs> well, a lot of German words do sound very Tamil and Indian. Um, I find that quite interesting. So let's get away on our journey and uh, let me just ease through. Now that's one thing, the S-Class is definitely a big vehicle. Um, I just take my time and be careful about driving this. Um, and you know how when I first got my Lexus and I was driving it, uh, I mean not my Lexus but Lexus to drive, um, it makes you uh, drive to a point that your heartbeat just drops a couple of beats lesser than before. And I think that's what I get when I drive a S class. The newer S classes, I feel that has got a bit more sharpness, uh, sharper riding sense to it. Uh, these ones over here, they are a boat. They're literally a boat. Uh, you you definitely can feel uh, the floatiness in it, and that's like a the, I guess the magic carpet ride feel to this. Like for example here, if you see my video, you can see that I'm just that I'm just like lofting around and floating see the outside and see myself yeah it's a bit of a float to this and uh, I'm not driving on normal mode on the SS on comfort the rear guys are extremely comfortable the front driver uh, gets to experience more of I guess what's happening in the road you really do feel um, all the bumps and boosts in the road and it's a uh, it's not jarring you know so it's, it's fine so on this curvy road going down here if I'm on the sport mode here sport suspension uh, you can see that immediately the steering stiffens up and uh, immediately I can feel more of the road uh, I can feel the um, like the bumps like yeah see that if I go over hump here hear that tap tap you can actually feel it it's quite sharp and uh, I think they did a good job in terms of how they um, did the suspension it says aromatic comfort when I actually turn off the sport mode and uh, it's definitely definitely very comfortable the way Mercedes have done their seats um, I think it's in line with the car itself. If you take a seat from a C-Class, an E-Class or an S-Class, they are fine-tuned to the car. Um, it's very unlike Mercedes. Mercedes goes for a more, um, how do I put it? They, they try to accentuate the ride, you know. Uh, I noticed that the passengers in the, Mercedes, in, the, in the BMWs don't tend to feel as much of the road uh, compared to the driver. The driver feels more of the road. And I'm like, wow, this road is hard. Well, of course, like what do you mean? It's, it's a it's a very normal road, and there's something about the seats. And with the Mercedes, the seats are there's some cause, some sort of sp springy effect to this. I know the older S class has got like um, um, spring loaded seats, and uh, like as if you're sitting on on springs, like your mattress. Uh, these ones don't come with that spring. I, I don't think so. But something about the foam, something about uh, Mercedes Sunda class, that you feel that not only the car is float floating but even the seat in relation to where you're holding the steering and the uh, side there's a bit of a floatiness to it so all that adds to the whole drama of driving the S-Class uh, it's like uh, sitting down and listening to an opera uh, even now I'm speaking to you it's extremely quiet in this car and I feel I'm talking too loud to be in S-Class <laughs> that makes sense um, touch points obviously you've got this uh, wood I'm not sure whether it's actual wood or it's resin but this wood inlay kind of uh, material for the uh, steering uh, it's very nice it's not hot to touch um, I don't need um, Alcantara for an S-Class um, the, in the inlays on the um, not inlays this um, kind of uh, plastic resin wood finish on the dashboard uh, it's very nice I mean to imagine a 13 year old car and it looks this beautiful this mint um, it's definitely beautiful when you look at the uh, dash and you look at that small clock there um, analog clock um, class lah bro class it's a classiness into a Mercedes S-Class and um, it's sad it's sad that today's S-Classes uh, S-Classes <laughs> have gone to a point they're all digital and I think that have, being too digital adds to the glare of driving when I say glare of driving it's like um, things that dis distract you and the idea of uh, S-Class to me is that quite comfortable ride you float even the even the headrest here this headrest here it's like a skeleton here and the middle section here is like suspended in air it's, there's nothing inside here 
So you are actually just like in a hammock. So there's a hammock resting. You're resting your head on a hammock. That's what it feels like. Extremely wonderful, guys. You know. Um, yeah. What can I say? You know. Go out, try it. Uh, thank you to Click Motors for letting me try the S class, the Sunda class. And uh, should I get one? I don't know. Vortex is the only thing I can think of that's a uh, downer for this car. 3.5 liter engines, uh, about 4,000 ringgit, I believe, per annum. But again, Sabah Sawa, um, Rotexes and uh, uh, are definitely cheaper if you're if you're living in Sabah Sawa, That's what I meant. <laughs> but other than that, look at that. I'm now pushing the car, accelerating, and the way it accelerates, whoo! It really pulls, and it pulls, it pulls strong, but it doesn't whip you in in the face. It's amazing. It's amazing how this gearbox is tuned, how they have done it. Um, Again, after 13 years, if you take this car, compare this to, I don't know, another luxury. If you take this particular S-Class and you compare it to a brand new S-Class, it is a right comfort. I'll be like, yeah, you know, um, the new S-Class is comfortable, but this is also pretty comfortable. I mean, minus all the techy stuff. Um, Comfort-wise, riding dynamics, uh, the seats, the interior, and if you get a a unit that's actually this nice and well maintained man i tell you s classes don't age man they just um, they just hold on very very well you know very amazing <gasps> i found a silly changer <laughs> okay guys this is my uh, review of the s class driving it um again if you like more videos about uh, any particular cars any weird cars let me know if you got your own car please contact me uh, on my email my email id is on my youtube channel and, uh, and yeah, who knows, maybe I'll go and review your car next. Cheers, guys. Bye.